So my single uh, biggest takeaway message from today is that the most effective leaders have an ability to keep their eyes above the horizon, or for lawyers, perhaps keeping your eyes above the desktop, knowing what is happening in your environment and the broader world, and actively engaging and thinking about what opportunities or changes might be presented to you, is what makes the difference between a leader and someone who is, can see a change, can see an opportunity, and someone who might be technically good at their work, but not notice that the world is changing around them and that work's drying up or your opportunities are drying up or you're getting unsatisfied in, in a particular area. And whilst uh, this is the key message, I think the secondary message is to always remember that the provision of any professional services and really any workplace is all about people. The skill of the people delivering um, that advice, the attention of those drafting contracts, handling situations with clients in distress, negotiating with them, managing your own team. Uh, it might be appearing in court, but it might be the way you structure and run your office. It might be how you uh, go out and market your business to other people. All of these interactions require crucial knowledge. They do require technical expertise. Uh, and of course, for, for the legal teams, they re require that technical base. But they're all about people, communication, empathy, expectation. And business opportunities grow from understanding your clients and dealing with their needs more effectively. I guess this is what doctors call bedside manner. I don't recommend calling it that in our industry. I think that might be taken the wrong way. Um, but I think it is important to think about that. It's a reminder that technical expertise, whatever area you are in, is actually just the start of your success because it's actually what everybody expects. It's the baseline. People think if they come into a law firm that they will get good legal advice. What they don't know is whether there's ev everything else in the package. Um, and it's the everything else that potentially makes you different in the marketplace. So I guess the question I think um, I want to challenge all of you to ask is if you think about the last month, any interactions that you have had uh, with clients or potential clients. This applies if you don't have a client-facing role as well because you will be servicing somebody in the business. So think about who else it might be that you're working with. How much attention have you spent in that month to what they really need and want? Can you think creatively of other ways that they might get the outcome that they want? The law, of course, is only a tool, so the more you understand about them, their needs and their business, the better you will be in being able to provide good support for them and the more satisfied they will be. Um, one thing I certainly learnt for politics is it's not actually always what you deliver, it's also how people feel about it. Um, so sometimes those things that you don't think are core to your job are the ones that are going to make people feel more satisfied and make them come back to you.